Hey guys, this is Apple Fanatic here. Um, I am making a video on showing you how to downgrade from Android 2.2, also known as Froyo, back to 2.1 so you can root. If you're like me and stupidly accepted the 2.2 over the update offered by Verizon, you know if you did not do unrevoked forever, you lost your root. Well, I'm here to show you how to undo that. Um, if you have tried in previous pasts, you'll see that Unrevoked 3 does not work anymore for the official over the update. Also, 3.2 will work once it's re-released, re but it will turn your S off, your, your S thing off. So, I don't know how to turn that back on, so I don't want to mess with that. So, I have a procedure here that I found on the internet that will allow you to just downgrade completely without having to do any of that. So we're going to jump right into it. Before I start, I'm not responsible for anything that's happened to your device and and um sorry about that. And um everything, the directions, the uh commands that you're going to have to run and the files, they will also be in the description. Um so, well, let's, let's get started. Um, I don't have my video camera running because the program I have, I just can't figure that out. So, I'm, you're just going to have to trust me. Um, I'll do a little video camera thing after showing it did work. So, here we go. First step, is you want to drag down your Droid Incredible and you want to get it to debugging mode. All right? This is, um, actually the first step would be to download the Android SDK. And then here you're going to want to unzip a couple of files. Um, I will put the files in the description. Um, and I'll give you the list. So, um, I recommend watching this video. And then, after watching the video, um, read the description just to clarify yourself 100% more. But what you're going to do is you're going to download the SDK off of Android's website. Then in the tool section, you're going to unzip the files that are in the computer, um, that are in the, the link. Um, so I've already done that. Oh, and another word, to make it easy to access on your command prompt, which you're going to be working from, I would save it to, I'm running on a Mac, so boot camp. Save it to your C drive. As you can see, um, I'll just show you the, um, the things real quick. You're going to want to do the PB31 IMG. You're probably familiar with that. You're going to actually be pushing that onto your your, uh, your phone now instead of um, instead of just um, just putting it onto your SIM your um, SD card. I actually have to take that file off cuz I just downgraded to show you the video or upgraded whatever, but I'm just going to remove that file. So All right, so you don't want it on your SD card. So the first step is going to be to put your device into debugging mode after you've unzipped everything. So to put into your device into debugging mode, what you're going to do is settings, go down to your applications, go to development, and hit USB debugging. Hit OK. Go back up to the top and make sure in order for this to work, you need to have your device in non-disc mode, so charge only mode. Um, let me see what, what time I have. Four minutes. So I think I can do it, and if I run out of time, I'll just stop the video there, and I will continue after. So the next step is with your phone plugged in with the debugging mode, you want to access your command prompt. So you're going to go into here, and you're going to type in CMD. It's going to bring up command prompt. Next. What you want to type is this CD upper um this is, will be accessing your your um this will be accessing your external I mean your your C drive so Android it's in all caps Android SDK slash tools slash okay it's gonna bring up that so once you're ready to do that this is what you're gonna do. Da up, 
take open up this file I have here and you're gonna wanna push each of these files individually so what I mean by push come on, is try to here we go you wanna copy them copy each individual one and you're gonna wanna paste All right. Um, I hate Windows. Just throwing that out there. I am a Mac guy, and I'm having a lot of difficulty doing it. Doing this right now. Copy because I am using the boot camp and the trackpad. Anyway, so you just go down and do each one of these files. Copy, and what this is gonna do is like the previous one you've probably seen videos this is going to downgrade your bootloader so you're going to be able to upgrade basically um a little word to this this file i'm pushing right now it takes a while so don't freak out if it doesn't load right away so as you see it's going to take a while once it's it's um it will take longer than expected so just be patient for a minute or so so I'm going to cut out here, and when it comes back on, I'll start up. So, all right, guys. So as you can see, it's pushed it. It says it's pushed that many bytes in about a minute and a half. So next, after you've done that, you're going to want to once again. You're going to want to type in ADB shell. ADB shell, or you can paste it, but it's just easier to do it. Um, copy this line and like I said um, just copy all of these because if you make a mistake it's not gonna make a huge difference however it's easier just to copy I'm not gonna lie because alright it's gonna do a double of everything so don't worry if it's doing a double and you don't know why it's just it's supposed to Alright, so copy. So now you're gonna push this file. Okay, so you're gonna see all this text. Wait for it wait for your thing to boot back up. Alright. Now you wanna you're gonna wanna type in A D B shell. Right? Then you wanna go to copy this and um, I've done this a couple times so I'm not really that nervous I know it's gonna work but the first time I did this I was very nervous so it's actually very normal so if you get a little nervous so this is the final step actually there's one more after this you're gonna have to reboot the bootloader which is relatively easy you just type it in so you want to paste this now you're gonna want to now you want to type in this reboot boot loader and your your i your droid incredible now shut off all right it's shut off well it should have shut off for you and it's going to come into this mode right here and if you are at your recovery mode not your custom recovery but like the menu before recovery you're good wait a minute or so and if it doesn't load the pb 31 IMG file because it pushed it it is fine do not worry what you simply need to do is go down to power down okay I'm gonna have to do it now you want to go down to power down hit your power button on the top then you want to hold down the power button and the down volume button all right it's gonna check for that file and it's gonna find it Okay, see, um, for you, it should have found it now. Um, let it check it. So I'm going to shut it off. And when it comes back to checking it, and it, um, 
when it's done checking it, I'll come back on. So let me pause. All right, guys. So hey, um, it's done checking the file. It's just it's finishing up checking. So this will take another ten seconds or so. Um, don't act it out of your command prompt yet. You don't really need it open anymore, but I like to leave it open to the very end just because I'm safe like that. Um, it's gonna check it, and once it does all that, like you've seen with the other videos, it's gonna say now it's gonna say do you want to start update your baseband I mean your bootloader has been downgraded so you're gonna be successfully able to upgrade or I technically I guess it's downgrade to 2.1 and then if you'd like to download I mean down upgrade to our leaked froyo version so you can mod it more um, you'll be able to do that then so I'm gonna hit start update you wanna hit this uh, volume up button to start the update um, it just warns you not to turn off the vol um, turn off the battery or anything obviously you wouldn't want to do that um, you don't have to have your device plugged in at this time and now you can access that command prompt I will be doing a uh, video on how to get out of your um, if you say you want to go up to the over the air update and you want to just cover complete root non root I will show you how to do that in another video coming up but right now um, you should be able to do whatever you want now if you follow the directions um, as I instructed. So for Apple Fanatic, this is me signing off. Peace.